Hey everybody, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Tints, our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. So, I'm back from vacation, had a lot of sun and fun on the beach, but I'm so ready to get back to spending time with you guys. I missed you guys, actually. I missed posting about fragrances and I missed my collection, oh my goodness. I do like to travel light, as you guys saw in my like blooper type of video, but at the same time, I also love having a huge variety of fragrances to choose from. So, this is gonna be that quote unquote third part of my green series, but I'm really gonna go ahead and title it its own thing because it's not necessarily green fragrances. This one is in the same wheelhouse, but instead they are herbal or mint fragrances. So, let's jump right into the video. The first one we're going to talk about is none other than Happy Show Cards Lemon Dulce. So this one, of course, starts off with those citruses. You got your lemon, you got your bergamot, okay? But then it comes in with ginger and cucumber and mint and woodsy notes and orange blossom. This is a very beautiful, happy fragrance. I love the fact that they put happy in the name. It fits very well. And this is one of those fragrances that gives you that refreshing quality from the mint. This is one that is perfect for spring and summer. I can't wait to wear this in the summer actually, but I get nothing but spring and summer vibes from this. So pretty. It's just a really pretty, unusual fragrance to me because for all intents and purposes, it reminds me sometimes of the 80s. Like I feel like not in an outdated old fashioned way because it, it, it translates over to 2021 very well or I wouldn't keep talking about it in multiple lists of mine. But at the same time, it just gives me this vibe of someplace I've been, someplace I'm used to, and someplace I would like to go again. But it kind of seems unattainable, like that moment in time has passed. However, again, I do love, 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 love this fragrance. Next, we're gonna talk about none other than Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. This is the floral, mint, carnation, amber, cannabis, vetiver fragrance. Amber and vetiver are not huge in this perfume. They are not prominent to me, to my nose. This is still predominantly a rose fragrance, a carnation fragrance with that mint that just makes it so refreshing and so cooling and such a beautiful feminine fragrance to wear. I simply love this. I think it should be in everyone's collection, every woman's collection, or man, if you like it. I'm not knocking you, but definitely every woman's collection for spring, summer. Again, that's Flora Botanica from Balenciaga. The next fragrance I want to talk to you guys about lists three notes. That's incense, tonka bean, and black tea. This is none other than Lombre, not to be confused with Lombre, which is the amber version, but Lombre de Merveille from the House of Hermes. This is so beautiful and aquatic. Mm. I love this. I think that this could also be unisex, but it definitely leans more feminine to me. It's crisp, it's clean, it's refreshing. I love the black tea note, and I'm not a tea scent girl per se. But this is so refreshing and cooling. Um, I guess it could be calming too, but I would say it's more relaxing. It's more, I need to be sitting outside by some type of uh, body of water, watching the birds or watching people fish, just becoming one with nature and, and being perfectly content and happy as such. I think that this is excellent for spring and for summer. I think it is absolutely everyday work appropriate this is not going to offend anyone. It is just, it's a beautiful fragrance. And beautiful in that earth way, that nature way, not cypress and juniper berries, but like I said, aquatic type of water, type of nature with the birds, just being one with clouds type of energy. I absolutely adore this. The next one I wanna to talk to you guys about is none other than Alien O Extraordinaire. Now, this boasts 
a large amount of citruses, and a lot of different types of flowers. However, in the opening, there is also tea. And the tea note in this is beautiful. I think it actually calms down the citrus and the floral effect. You know, you can have a citrus that you opened up like um, Pomelo Paradise by Atelier Colognes. I'm talking about you're getting slapped all up in the face with a citrus, okay? So instead of having that loud, um, obnoxious citrus, and I mean obnoxious in the best way because that's really how I prefer my citruses when I'm wanting to wear a citrus. I want it to be bold and loud and fierce and super citrus. So, but I do like this rendition. This was, um, a pleasant surprise for me because I'd gone through so many different alien flankers and just wasn't really amused with any of them or impressed by any of them except for the alien essence absolute. This one being a huge if not complete departure from the original DNA made me love it because those of you who follow me know that I am not expressly or hugely an alien fan. However, I can appreciate it in the air. So um, <laughs> this one here though, like I said, the tea in this brings a refreshing quality that calms the citruses and calms the floral. So you're not gonna have this extremely headache inducing um, outcome with wearing this one. It's very elegant, lots of um, sophistication and class in this without being stuffy or old fashioned beautiful everyday fragrance for spring and for summer. I know a lot of people have talked about this and with good reason. If you have not gotten your hand on this flanker, I would. I think it's really, really pretty, but do not purchase this if you are looking for Alien. Just go get that little purple bottle because this is not gonna give you that. This isn't gonna give you remotely that vibe or feel. This is its own entity to me. The twist in it, um, the variations from the original DNA are just so much that I just don't think it's going to satisfy or scratch your itch if the original is what you're looking for. So again, that's Alien O Extraordinaire from the House of Mugre. The next two that we're going to talk about go hand in hand. We have Elizabeth Arden's White Tea and Elizabeth Arden's White Tea Vanilla Orchid. I really can't choose between the two of these. They just give me two completely different vibes. It's, I, mean, I shouldn't say two different vibes. They smell different. But they both give me the vibe of I want to relax. Oh, I Yeah, no, I lied. I prefer the original. I prefer the freshness in this is, uh, is unmatched. It's unparalleled. This is so, okay. This one is clean and crisp and fresh with that tea note so it's refreshing and laid back this is not one that is um fighting for you know the spotlight and being the most unique thing you've ever smelled or the loudest most boisterous thing this is just clean and crisp and refreshing and absolutely stunning in those categories i love this it's so simplistic this is laying in a hammock somewhere. This is vibing on um, a, a small, quiet beach where there aren't really any waves going. You like the water is just still and pretty and it's basically just for the ambiance. The water isn't a part of the field. It's the sun, it's the, 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 the space and the shade that you can find from the sun where you can still see the sun lighting everything up but it's not cooking you to death. This is, you know, lizards and creatures doing their own thing far away from you because if you're like me, you don't play with animals like that. So um, this is just a beautiful day or this is lounging around the house in a clean house. You've done all the cleaning and the dishes and the sweeping and the dusting and all of that and now you just have me time. This is, you know, getting a mani petty this is getting a massage. This is having a scalp massage or have somebody wash and do your hair for you. This is not having to do anything but still being pampered, still being utterly luxurious without you having to do the work for it. I love Elizabeth Arden White Tea. And the vanilla orchid is not bad. It just because of that vanilla. It's less fresh and a little sweeter and a little darker and deeper. Um, I didn't need a floral note. I didn't need an orchid in this and I didn't need a vanilla to weigh it down. I like the fresh crispness that this is, but this is not bad. 
Um, this is just, you know, a nice everyday, easy breezy work appropriate scent that would never upset anyone, but it absolutely doesn't transport me on this like cloud nine vibe like this one does. So again, I prefer the original Elizabeth Arden white tea and the Elizabeth Arden uh, vanilla orchid. It's also cool. It is. I own it. So clearly, you know, if I didn't like it, I would sell it, but it's nice. This next one I want to talk about, which also happens to be the last one on my list, is a complete shocker to me. I still cannot believe that I love this the way that I do. Because if you ask me, it's a masculine fragrance. Um, <laughs> this is Atelier Cologne's Oulang Infini. The tea note in this is exquisite. You have like Tucini and Neroli, which I'd never heard of before, but I do, and Jasmine. But I also think you get like some masculine things like vetiver and, and a few other things in here. But this is from Atelier Cologne. And the first time I ever smelled this and I put it on, I was like, okay, so that's from like, that's one of the masculine fragrances. That's, that's not for me. So I took a shower, sprayed this on before bed, about 30 minutes later when I was really getting ready to, you know, turn out the lights and, and go to sleep, I smelled my arm again, smelled my wrist. This was it. This was the most calming, relaxing, beautiful fragrance I'd ever smelled in my life. And I used up the rest of that travel size actually as a bedtime fragrance, which is not my normal zhuzh. But, you know, if you're stressed, and, and, and fragrance or scents can really um, uh, get you in a mood, whether it's lavender for sleeping or tea for sleeping. This is a perfect fragrance to calm you, to relax you. I, I, this is the only Atelier Cologne that I own this full size bottle of. It It's just, it. it's everything to me. And I haven't even been wearing it since like, you get done with the sample, you purchase the full bottle and then you hoard it like a trophy. That's my whole thing. but. I love this, it's outstanding. Again, that's Oulang Infini from the House of Atelier Cologne. If you like me, my personality, my content, my delivery, the vibe, um, <laughs> there you go, Simply Shaughnessy. Got me to say vibe in a video. Um, please do remember to click the like button and select the notification bell so that you never miss any of my future uploads, as well as please, 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 please subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you like me and my content and you want me to continue to put it up for you. So, can't wait to see you guys in the comments. And until then, bye.